Hi, welcome to Fontes Insider. I'm Kim Bassett, I'm your host, and I am, I always get excited every time I do one of these, but this is a really special one today. Um, if you are, we all in, are in business here, right? And we have pictures of us, we have branding of us, we have headshots of us. And sometimes we're just like, I don't need a photographer, I'm just gonna have my kid take a picture of me. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about that today, and here is my guest. Today on Fontes Insider, coming from Henderson, Nevada, is Michael Conrad. Michael married the girl next door, and together they raised four children in a city and community that they love. Opening his studio 17 years ago has brought many opportunities for leadership, service to his community, and helping other small businesses to thrive. Michael's service to his family and business clients is just part of what Michael has created by unleashing his dedication to the art of photography. As you can see, Michael does, doesn't snap picture. He creates art. Michael, welcome to Pontus Insider. You know, we, what's up? Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm, I, I just think you're one of the most greatest people I know. And I have to say, I am looking forward to having my headshots done. So by you and we're today, we're going to talk a little bit about, um, headshots, but we're going to talk about photography. We're going to talk about what to look for. There's so many things we're going to talk about today, mm -hmm. but I want them to hear a little bit about you and who you are, how you got started with this, that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, you know, this uh, was not my chosen profession. I wanted to be the uh, knight in shining armor that saved the you know, damsel in distress like yourself, but, you know, eventually one day um, I, I'd be in a fair part of firefighter, paramedic, police officer. Those I grew up around those guys. And after uh, 13 years in uh, security at Sam's Town and becoming an EMT and doing all those things, it just wasn't going anywhere. And so a friend of mine said, hey, you're doing some portraits, so you're doing jobs. I was playing with photography at the time. And he says, I need a photographer. You got the skills. Let's do this. So I worked with uh, photography by van for 10 years. And then he uh, closed the business down and I started mine. So it's kind of, you know, I've always played with it, I've always dabbled with it, I've always loved photography, loved the, the uh, aspect of it. Um, but it's kind of in a nutshell how I got started into the into the industry. Been doing it okay. almost 30 years now. Almost 30 I know. years. I, I'm literally, I, I'm just in, in awe because I love photography. I love being able to take pictures and things like that. And my daughters are even way better than I am. But yours are different. Yours transcend. And, you know, the reason why his, okay, everyone, I have to say this. The reason why his uh, sizzle reel was a little bit longer, I could not make up my mind which ones to put in and what ones to cut out because truly what he does, and that's why in the middle of I said, this is not just someone who snaps pictures, right? Put people together in a family portrait. You literally create art. So tell me kind of why why that started well you know back in when i first started i started in the film days uh you know film that's the dark room i love the dark room i mean it was like a legal buzz for me because you go in there with the chemicals and everything it was great i loved it anyway so you know once digital came along i hated it i fought against digital and, and did not like it but um having to learn it you know i became the old dog learning new tricks um on that um it just I, so I'm, I'm old school on how I approach photography. Um, nowadays, the cameras are basically little computers that will, you know, do everything for you. Um, it's like a hammer. It's a tool. What are you going to do with that hammer? It's like a, it's like a chainsaw. What are you going to do with that chainsaw? You know, I have a, 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 um, a red uh, tool, a toolbox, a big giant red toolbox in my garage. You do not want me working on your car. Trust me on that. So just because you have something doesn't mean that you know how to work it. So with these, with these computer cameras, you know, I capture everything inside camera, just like I would when it was film. I, you know, I think the big thing that people are missing nowadays is um, 
lighting and posing. I think those are the big things that people are, don't understand that are really what make uh, separate me from everybody else. And when, you know, 08, 09 happened, I survived that. I had, and then everyone in 2010, the, all the digital cameras came out. Um, I had to separate myself again. And so from being a photographer, I had to learn how to become an artist. And that's where I learned how to create more, you know, better lighting and use the lighting and posing and different techniques and, and digital art and all different things to create uh, the work I do now. Yeah, I, I, that's one thing that I, I have learned from you um, specifically is that art of lighting. You know, I know that's something yeah. that you teach um, here at UNLV, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, I teach basic photography one, two, and three, uh, which all and lighting's included, street photography, uh, digital uh, retouching. Now you don't be in their uh, continuing education classes. Wow, that that is incredible. I am. Um, I some of these pictures here I want to show. I know we're kind of all over the place here, but let's specifically <laughs> talk about business. Yeah. So. You know, I had, you know, I had uh, Rhonda on here about LinkedIn, right? And she goes, mm -hmm. Kim, your picture stinks. <laughs> and she tried to go into my, like, my social media to try and find a picture. And then I try to put a picture there. I'm like, okay, as soon as I get back from Texas, I'm going to call Michael. I'm going to go get him done. <laughs> yeah, <job> done. <laughs> and and I, so I'm back and you and I have talked and I'm going to come in and get him done. And then we can come back right. on and show everybody all the good stuff. You made me make me look a lot better. Um, but let's talk about you. You gave me a, you're going to, I'm going to put some pictures up here and I want mm -hmm. you to talk about headshot. Okay. First of all, why do we want a headshot? What's important in looking at a headshot? Because mine was looking to the side and she's mm -hmm. like, Kim, you need to be looking to the front. So yeah. why? You want to, you, you want to connect with your, you want to connect with the people that you're, you're putting yourself out to. You know, especially on LinkedIn, it's a professional page. So when you do, when you go in for a um, a consultation, a live consultation or a job interview, you know, you go in with your best foot forward, you look at your best. Same thing is applied here, especially nowadays with everyone, you know, not wanting to meet in person anymore. They do a lot of these things. They, they're going to, if, if they're, if your application is in front of somebody, um, chances are they're going to do a Google search. And when they do a Google search, your photo is going to come up sometime sooner or later. And it better be darn good. So they're impressed with it. You know, people don't realize that if you've got a professional portrait taken, you know, for a headshot, uh, that your chances are 25, your 25% chances are higher of having it look if someone's stopping and looking at it versus 14% of it just blown over. You know? Wow. And so it's it's a big deal. It's a big deal to have that look. And, and a cell phone just doesn't cut it because I see a lot of things out there where it's dark, it's light, you know, it's just, you need that, your, your face has to pop off that page and they have to stop. Yeah, and that's one of the things that I get talked about a lot, even with like, you just mentioned video, right? We're on Zoom mm -hmm. a lot. And I've been yeah. on a lot of Zoom meetings where people are just dark. And some yeah. of them kind of look, can look kind of creepy too, right? Because it's just, you're not, you don't know who they are and that's one of the things that's really important to me. That's why, you know, yeah. I have lighting, but it does show all my wrinkles and I'm kind of learned to get over that. But I mean, but yeah, so let's pull up one of the pictures you gave us to show. So yeah. here's one, here's one picture. All right. This is yeah. our a mutual friend of ours. We love this man. Yeah. Um, that's a, you can tell that's the cell phone picture and you don't, you don't see anything in his eyes. He's got a great smile. He's a great guy. So, I mean, the smile is there, but there's really, it's just a, a good snapshot. Yeah, it is. It it, it's, and it's not going to make you. It's not going to make you stop. No, no. But I mean, it shows you who he is. But like you said, it's the eyes, and that's what I learned from my daughter, who is in acting. That they, when she had her headshots done for her, um, her card or whatever, her resume, she yeah. it was all about the eyes. That's what nice. they kept telling yeah. her. So, so okay. at that, that last one's Kevin. There's there's nothing in his eyes. Yeah. So we have this one. Yeah. All right. Now look at this one. Wow, right? No, if you saw those two, that one's gonna make you stop in your tracks and you're gonna think, wow, I need to talk to this guy. Right. Think about it for a second. Think about it for a second. If uh, you're a financial expert and you're at the at the Knights game and you're showing off your jersey and you snap a photo, you know, at the Knights game, you're doing this, and that's your LinkedIn page, um, and you want someone to give you a million dollar portfolio versus someone like this. You know, a nice headshot like this. Who are you going to give the million dollar million dollar portfolio to? Yeah, 
Let's, let's go back to this again. There's that yeah. one. Here's that Boom. one. And if, I mean, everybody, if you cannot see the difference with that, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. So, yeah. you know, this is, we have customers all across the country, right? We're going to have mm -hmm. people that see this all across the country. Um, so do you have people that come in? I mean, Vegas is, is a place where people vacation, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, do you have people that come in from around the country? Yeah, I've done uh, several uh, high school seniors that are, you know, their families vacation here all the time or they have a second home here and they tell their kids they can have their, you know, their high school senior portraits taken here in Vegas. It's, for, you know, especially when it's warmer here than maybe like Minnesota is where I did one. And uh, so they come out here, they find me online and I've done a family uh, from a couple of two or three families from Arizona and from California where they are coming in for a reunion and they look at me and I specialize in large families, you know, 15, 20, 30, 35 families or people in the, in the group. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it's easy. And they just, they hook me up. And they said, we chose you because uh, no one else does large families. And we, you know, we've got grandma and mom and everybody, and we only get together every 10 years. We want to record this memory and, and make it a treasure. Yeah. Nope. I totally get that. So yeah. speak, speaking of that, you, you also mentioned that you have a heritage. Um, a heritage, my heritage, my heritage project. Yeah. So here's, so here's this, another one. This, 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 is, this is, I love these two guys. Um, the, the older gentleman, uh, actually, he was one of the police officers I grew, I grew up around uh, up here in, in Henderson. Wow. And, uh, that's, that's his son who I went to school with. And, you know, he, he's starting to get older. and you know, about pushing about 80 or so like that. And, you know, and, and as parents do, they get old, they slow down and different things, have health issues. And so I invited him to come in for what I call a heritage portrait. And uh, dad's sitting there and he's just stone faced and he just makes a joke. And he just oh. says, he just looked at, looked at me. He just looked at me and says, Mike, do you do nudes? <laughs> and, and yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And that's his son's reaction because he knows I don't do nudes. He knows <laughs> I don't, that's, I don't do them at all. But it just got his son away and then, you know, the connection. And so my heritage project is basically bringing, bringing the children and, and older parents together um, and probably some of their final portraits together, you know, it's yeah. um, that, that their bond is different now than it was 20, 30 years ago. The roles are reversed. The mm -hmm. son is taking care of the dad. And so yeah. those are special moments and there's special bonding there. And um, I've done about half a dozen of those um, or, you know, like three generation, four generation, five generation for one, in one instance. There's just something about our heritage that we need to remember and that we need to hold on to. Um, and I think it's important that we remember those. Not everyone thinks they think, oh, we need a picture of you know, our family, this and that. But they forget about, you know, mom and dad in their elder, in their in their later years or golden years that they need to have yeah. that updated portrait as well. Oh, I think that's beautiful. I, I know at Christmas time you do some beautiful mm -hmm. artwork with that. Um, mm -hmm. I know you do um, artwork with the um, veterans. Um, yep. Veteran with project. Veterans. That's a good one. Yeah. Yep, you do stuff with sports. Um, I just, you are just a gift. You are some, some, someone very, very special in which you take you. the important things of life, whether it be in business or personal or within families, and you, you bring it to life, which I, that's why I wanted you on here so much because you really do create um, art. And yeah. so I have to, I could not get all the pictures on here. So that's why I had the sizzle reel. So everybody can go mm -hmm. back and, and watch that and then um, go to your website, right? So that they can see mm -hmm. that. Um, I got to show this other one. Look how cute this is. Yeah, that's that's my little granddaughter. Um, I know she's and so that, cute. And that's, <laughs> and that's just digital art. You know, I, I, I photographed her on the, on the, on the white, white suite and then matched her out and put her in our, our little plane. But it looks like mm -hmm. she's really there. That's right? the whole point. That's the whole point. It's it's a it's a it's a real it's it's making it real. You know, I mean, look at yeah. Hollywood. I mean, nothing nothing in the, the movies. I mean, they're great movies. You see all these great actions. Like, whoa, they create that. Well, very seldom do they create those big giant sets. It's a lot of green screen or a lot of CG and whatnot. So yeah. you know, bring a little bit of it into that to my portraits um, on on a few occasions for you know like the digital artwork and commission yeah. art pieces I do quite often. Okay. All right. So yeah. how, if somebody can't get to you, right. But they're like, 
man, I live in the East Coast and I don't come out to Vegas and I haven't gone to do it because I see all these photographers, they all look the same. How do you pick a good photographer? So the, the best way to do it is go to Professional uh, professional Photographers of America, um, which I'm a part of. Um, if you go to, so I think it's PP, ppofa.org, I believe, or .com. Um, go there and you can find a photographer that's a professional photographer, not just someone with a camera, but they joined a professional organization, Professional Photographers of America, um, where they they educate themselves. They, you know, they have a better, a little hierarchy, if you will, on, on taking portraits. I'm bringing that that together. And there's some great photographers out there. Okay. All right. So on on the headshot, what do we need to look for? The you said the eyes, right? I know I'm all over the place here today, but <laughs> no, I think I think the eyes. You know, and I tell people when they come in all the time, this is what's the message you want to send. You know, if I have a if I have a a lawyer, it's a, you know. Um, He's a defense lawyer, or if he's just a uh, in injury lawyer, he's got to show strength. He's got to show that he can get the job done and be able to make it happen. You know, so he's got to show some strength. Versus a realtor, now a realtor, they they better be they, the message they show should be friendly, because you think about it, you're taking a realtor in your house, you're either buying or selling, and there's a billion realtors out there. So oh, yeah. how do you choose one? You, you've got to want look at someone um, that uh, has that friendly approach that. Makes you want to think that's this is my buddy. My buddy's gonna take care of me in the realtor market because yeah. there's some realtors out there that are pretty scary. They shouldn't be in the realtor business on there. So yeah. it's the messaging that you send, and, and it's all by posing and lighting. You know, I can make you look thinner, taller, fatter, skinnier, whatever by hey. lighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I I can. It, it just depends. And so we talk about when I have people come in for their their um, this is portraits, headshots. I talk about what's the message that you want to send. What is it you're looking for? You know, I don't uh, like to see a lot of headshot photographers out there. They do. They're kind of like what I'm doing here. This is a straight shot. It'd be like, we'll put a sign in front of me, like numbers. So, so I always like to turn them a little bit. And again, I'm old school. So I, I do it, you know, the old ways. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, as far as background, I think when you talk about branding, there's a lot of a lot of things out there. You know, photographers out there right now are just using gray, you know, which is fine. That's that's kind of a standard that, you know, it's become a standard. But yeah. um, I always talk, ask people, what's the branding? What is your... You, does your website have a lot of color into it and you want to brand that same that same feel? So the background has the same kind of tones, um, has some texture to it. So it doesn't look like a, just a boring white sweep or a gray sweep or a black sweep. You get okay. a little bit of character in there on that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Wow, yeah. that is, yeah, that's really helpful. Yeah. All right. So do you have anything else you want to talk about as far as, you know, why, why the headshot? We, we've talked about the eyes. We've talked about the branding. We've talked about, you know, all of that. Is there anything else maybe we've forgotten? I just, you know, I just think for, for that, for a business headshot, um, you just don't undersell yourself. Don't undersell it. You know, and I tell photographers, not photographers, but I tell people all the time, I says, look, at, um, when people see your headshot, you know, and they look at that and they see that it's a cell phone or if it's just not very good, the question could come into your mind is like, you know, is he going to, you know, if he's not willing to put the extra work, sorry, my little buddy, my little buddy's coming in here. It's a nice day outside. I get doors open. So um, if he's not willing to put a little extra effort into himself by having a great headshot, what is he going to do with my product or service? Is he not going to give the little, all the, that full extra effort? Is he going to find wow. shortcuts? Is he going to, is he going to perform or is he just going to be like, yeah, this will do, you know? Uh, there was a study done not too long ago um, that they were for local and and uh, state you know elections you know on that uh -huh. they can they they took pictures of the two candidates after the election and went to a different bunch of different people and the people ninety percent of the people can tell you who won and who lost just by their photos. Really? So, yes. So it's wow. important to have that photo that sends the right message. It has the right look. Okay, and the right photographer can know how to That's do right. that. That's right. And that and that's why they should come to you. Exactly. So. <laughs> exactly. I got a lot to offer, you know, a lot to offer. You really do. You really do. And it's and it's just it goes beyond, like you said, beyond the headshot, beyond the family, beyond you you really the thing about you, Michael, is you really have a lot of heart. You care. Um, one of the things that I am gonna plug about you too is you really are an empower of people, but women specifically. There's mm -hmm. 
there's not, um, there's a lot of great men out there, but there's not a lot of men that really promote uh, women empowerment and help, you know, helping them put their best foot forward. So yeah. um, that's the other thing that I really, really appreciate about you and, and working with you as well. Well, so. thank you. You know, and, and my belief is just, you know, uh, women are out there that have a different mindset than men and we need to understand that and we need to be able to, and, and like I said, empower them uh, because they have much more to offer than, than what people realize. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right. So how do people get a hold of you? So now you get everybody all excited about coming and getting their pictures done with you. So how do they get a hold of you? So, they, you know, they can, they can call me at the studio to, um, or they can email me at Michael, Mike, at Michael at Michael's photography, um, dot com. Right down they go here. To my website. Yeah, right down there. They go to right my there. website, Michael's photography and contact me through there. Um, you know, those are some of the best ways to do it. Um, and I'll, I'll see those. Yeah. And you will get a gift and a half for the first 10 people who say, hey, I saw you on Fontas Insider and they email yeah. you or phone you and say, hey, I, I found you on Fontas Insider. You get a $75 gift card for this. Oh, my gosh. Sign yeah. me up. We'll Can I get we'll one of those? We'll <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You're going to get one of those. <laughs> so we'll, we'll apply that towards whatever session you want to do. Okay. Awesome. All righty. Um, Michael, is there anything else you want to share with them about who you are, what you do? Um, you know, I just, today? I like celebrating people. I like celebrating people. My, my whole belief is, is trying to make people feel better about themselves, you know, and, and lift them up in this world. We have enough negativity, enough crap, enough everything else and, and hate. Um, I try to, in my little corner of the world, do what I can to promote you know, something that's going to cheer them up and bring them together. Whether it's through headshots, whether it's through, you know, bringing the heritage portraits, you know, the, the mother and, and son together that might, <clears throat> mom's in her 80s or, you know, and even 90s, we did one and together, you know, our veterans, bringing back wow. some of those old traditions, um, you know, just uh, especially the high school seniors that I do. I always try to make them feel, make the guys feel like they're uh, um, James Dean or Steve McQueen, though they don't yep. know who they are. You know, and the girls I always I try to lift the girls up. Yeah, right. I always try to lift the girls up, make them feel that they're empowered and they, you know, they know they have value. So that's just my, me and my personal mission, if you will, this is trying to, you know, give people that empowerment that, that, that they feel good that, about themselves. Um, and then they can display portraits in their home. Too many times we don't display our family portraits um, in our home. It's, oh, it's on the cell phone. It's on that. It's good enough. Um, again, going back to a study is that when the kids, and I, I do this for kids because I've worked with kids for 40 years in, in church and Boy Scouts and everything. So it's always, you know, about the kids is when they see when when children see their, their portraits in the in the home, either in a group setting or individual setting, um, they feel like they belong to something. They belong to a group. They feel stronger. And so therefore, I'm always promo you know, promoting, promoting, you know, putting those portraits on the walls versus just a you know little cell phone or something like that that we're going to lose. And it's the same thing, when, you know, as if when they know their, when kids know their heritage and they know the progenitors and they know the struggles they went through, they themselves will be able to get through um, struggles that they have. So those are all big wow. messages, you know, these, the, that we try, I try to encapsulate in, in these portraits. Wow. That, that is powerful all in itself. I appreciate you sharing that. I know you do a lot for your community as well. You've, you know, mm -hmm. since the age of two, you've been in Henderson. I know you've been involved in your community. I know the mm -hmm. stuff that you do down on for businesses in Water Street. Yeah. Um, I just, everyone, you just, you want to know this man and you want to, I do, you do. I mean, yes, the pictures are amazing, but just knowing you is, is a gift. So well, I, I appreciate you coming on here and sharing um, your heart and your gift and your art. Um, it's, you know, I, I, I celebrate people too. Right. And mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. love um, being able to tell and scream from the rooftops when I see someone out there really making a difference in the world and, and sharing their gifts. So I, I appreciate that. So. Well, I appreciate you. You've got a great talent yourself and everything you do and bringing people together. So it's a special talent. Well, thank you. 
All right, everyone. Um, I just want to say thank you again to Michael. This was a really great episode. I, you know, the one thing is I'm very intentional in what I bring to you, um, the talent and the gifts. Um, I hope you are going in and uh, liking um, the page, liking the YouTube channel, subscribing to the YouTube channel, because then you can see when I'm putting um, out information out there. Yes, most Wednesdays I am here, but lately I've been uh, making announcements on some really great events that are happening this month. We have an Ignite Your Brand um, that is coming up and we have a, um, uh, a Joel Bauer event um, that's coming back. You guys cannot miss that. So please go and, and watch and look at either my personal uh, Facebook page on YouTube I try to get it on a lot of different platforms so you guys can't miss it, but please do this. And I really appreciate you. I appreciate Michael. Please send your, your um, people and anyone else you know that's looking for someone his way. And you guys have such a great day. Appreciate you.